December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Well, I lived on the corner of Cross and in a little apartment there in, in uh, 41 when Pearl Harbor got hit. I was just saying, I can remember, still remember the day that kid coming down the street hollering extra, extra. When did you enlist in the Army? I was a rifleman. Okay. And it was Company E is what I joined. It was 174th Infantry from Jamestown here. I was on there on a troop train, probably about 150, 175 guys from Jamestown. What, what year was that? Uh, 40, September 40. Well, I enlisted because the draft was coming up, see. I see. I figured I might as well, you had to join for a year, so I joined for a year. And this was in the Army? Yeah, 1940. I went to Fort Dix for a year's training. I can remember in Fort Dix, guys would go home around Liberty on the weekend at noon. We'd last for inspection and take off. And then readily Monday morning, I got to go, go to get shoes on and that, the shoes would be nailed to the deck and campaign hats would be nailed on the wall. <laughs> the ones that stayed at camp would do all that crap, you know. <laughs> Slip your shoes on and then try to take off. So but, after your stint at boot camp and being at Fort Dix, did you then, after the one year it was over, did you come back home? Yeah, I come back home and I, I was a welder at Dalstrom's for a while. And then they drafted me uh -huh. in the Navy. So you were in the Army first, and then you got drafted into the Navy. Yeah. So what was that, 1942? Uh, I went in the Navy in 43. I went basic, what do you call it, boot training, Samson, and amphibious training in Solomons, Maryland. Then we went over to Pearl Harbor where we put our landing craft together, so then from then I hit every, all the islands. What was the, what was the ship you were on? It was just a landing craft. Uh, there, was, there was 14 of us on there, the, uh, LCT. Well, we'd go in towards the shore and then the skipper there, he was a lieutenant, he'd tell me when to drop the anchor. I had to drop the anchor. And then we'd go in shore, then I'd drop the ramp to get the tanks off there. That, that was our training. And then uh, when we came back out, we'd use the anchor to pull us back offshore again. See, the, the big steel cable, I'm huge. And that anchor would pull you right back offshore. So you'd have a winch? That yeah, would... yeah. If you had an invasion, the guys would get off and the tank would get off. We were behind the, the the fleet was ahead of us all the time. I was in, I couldn't even name them all. Marshalls, Carolinas, Inuita, Guam, Lady Harbor, Okinawa. But I was at each one after it was secured. Uh, I can remember specifically the Lady Harbor there. Geez, it was just like a circus ground there. I mean, there was so much activity, you know, fun for the sailors, you know, to relax. Then we'd take them in, like I was saying to him before there, uh, have a crap game on the deck on the way in usually. <laughs> One time we went into the shore, it turned in for the whole fleet, so we got, a, I don't know, umpteen cases of beer, 10 cents a can. I can remember selling it for a buck after the guys got a half looped. <laughs> but we lived just like a family on that. See, there was only 14 of us on there. We sat at a table and ate. We had a real good cook. That wasn't seagoing either. That was just a flat bottom. I don't know, they're only about 100 some feet long, about 30, 40 feet wide, flat. And only about six feet high. I was the, the worst when I was storming. And was, uh, after the war ended when I was in Lady Harbor. And uh, we were scheduled to go to Okinawa to invade Japan. And they sent us anyhow after the war had ended. So we went up the storm up through there. I didn't think we'd make it. It was just like a cork. 
going up and down them swells. They were huge. But like you say, it was not ocean going. We put it together in Pearl Harbor, the three sections. We had to float them, you know, and ballast them, and then fit them together and bowl them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd say it was uh, delivery boys. We were. You'd go over and get a load of ammunition or food or whatever, you know. Then you delivered it to the carrier or to the battle wagon. I was electrician's aide. Where did they Everybody did everything like an Arskow, though. They, you know, there was 14 that was just like a family. Right. Uh, you'd kick out of this. And just about every afternoon, the signalman, he'd signal around to all the carriers and battle wagons to find out where the best movie was. <laughs> and we'd go to the movie every, but every night. Then. Where, did, where did they show the movies? Right on the deck. I've seen a lot of them come in there, pretty beat up. <laughs> I think the worst one I've seen, I think it was a Franklin carrier. That thing was half gone. So how, describe the Franklin. When you saw it, what would what did it look like? Who was that? The, the Franklin carrier. Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I can remember there was a lot of bodies in there and they would stuff when they came and they were looking for details to when it cleaned it out, I remember that. But it's pretty morbid. <laughs> and you were coming in after each island was secured. Yeah, right, 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 exactly. Like, I, I must have been 10, 15 islands. I remember one time we got in a crap game, there was, we were anchored there, and the other ones come up and tied to us. And I had a crap game going there, and, Jeez, I went up my locker, I got my last $10 bill. That <laughs> is in the crab game. I, I got hot. Jeez, I cleaned them out, about 400 bucks. <laughs> I took it over to the fleet post office the next day to cash, put it in an envelope, and registered mail. I, I got home all right, too. I remember in Lady Harbor once, I was on a Sunday afternoon, I was making fudge in the galley, and this native came up, we wanted cocoa. So I showed him the gallon can, olive drive, cocoa, yeah, cocoa. <laughs> he had a $10 bill. So I got him a can of spinach and sold him for 10 bucks. Then <laughs> 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 one time my wife sent me some chocolate physic. I went in the galley and hollered and she sent me a box of chocolates from the old corn crib. Remember the old corn crib? Yeah. Sent me a box of chocolates. I hollered the chocolate out and put the physic in there, and this big Swede was up there in a gun turret, and I went up and sat there, and I was eating chocolate, he said, what the hell you got, and I give him the physic. Next morning, he got up, I didn't see him, the cook told me, he said, he got out of the bed, and the they were scratching his head, <laughs> he crept in the bed. <laughs> He's, he was a big guy, they killed me. <laughs> Oh, I hadn't seen my, my son there for two years, the, the one of them, well, both of them, but the, I'd seen the one when he was born. I left here just as he was born. Mm. And I come back and he was two years old. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Yeah. He didn't know me and I didn't know him. Well, this has been terrific. You're my hero. Thank <laughs> you for coming in today. This oh, has I, been terrific. Yeah. Well, I hope I helped you out a little bit. Oh, you have tremendously. Hmm.